Luke's in 97. Welcome back to more Let's Play Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. In the last part, uh, we did part 5, which is Cloud City Trap, and I love that area. In this episode, we're going to do... One second there, guys. Just give me one sec. And I'm back! So let's do Chapter 6, Betrayal of Bespin. Oh boy. If you hear anything uh, in this video, it's because I actually have somebody who's watching me and... They might laugh, so you know, yeah. Um, if you do, then okay, well, whatever. Let's do this. We start out, Millennium Falcon is flying. I'm not and. Because okay. I, I, I have to turn the TV down. So, uh, we have um, Lando Calrithian here with Princess Leia, but Leia's like, no. <laughs> so we walk in, and TC14 is like, Come here, C3PO. It's really sad that I know all the names off the top of my head, but hey, I'm a Star Wars fan. Forgive me. So they walk in, and boom, Vader's there. No, yeah. So Vader's like, Okay, let's kill some people. And they're gonna put Han Solo. In this thing, which is gonna make him dun, 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 dun. frozen carnival. But we fed Scott him now, and you know, they're like, just take money, or I don't really care. Lando Calrithian, though, he was a bad guy, but then he kind of turns into a good guy, and it's really confusing in the game here because they don't really explain it that well. But yes, Lando Calrithian is a good guy doesn't really say that anywhere. It doesn't even say that he's a bad guy. But yes, he's bad. Oh, you piece of poop. You piece of poop. <laughs> Duh. I don't know. What you gotta do is really this. It's all in the staircase. Really, really easy. Just go over here and let's shoot both with that right in Oh, I just killed an innocent person. Not that I care. <laughs> you piece of poop. Okay. Boba Fett, right as I get killed, I'm about to say this. Boba Fett, much easier than Django Fett. Boba Fett is a joke, even though I keep getting killed. He's a joke. You just hit him as he's in the air, he'll fall, and then you just hit him again. See, I just defeated him. That was it. Both had to joke. So, he goes in that door, which we cannot go in because we don't have a bounty hunter. There's also no bounty hunter thing around. I just like killing people in the Oh, wait, we can't go in. Oh, duh. <laughs> so, I was wrong, apparently. <laughs> apparently, we could go in there. So yes, we are just following Boba Fett around in this chase scene, and you can't hit him no matter what you do, apparently. That's cool. Yeah, Boba Fett, though, is a complete joke. Don't believe me? We're not done yet. Um, We'll see him again in episode 6. He is just... I don't know, I was kind of disappointed. I was, like, really disappointed with the way... Well, with that turn out, because Django Fett was just so freaking awesome. Yeah. I like Boba Fett in the movies, don't get me wrong. Um. It's not my game. So what we have to do here is, you're probably thinking like, okay, Django, or Boba Fett's gone. What do we do? How dare I confuse the two of them? What do we do now? Well, what we have to do is simply go back here. And you're gonna notice there are still a poop ton of storms. Waiting for us to kill them, and no, they're just gonna kill me. So, yeah. You try to go through that smoke, you instantly flip and die. What you gotta do here is use R2, because R2 is just fine, and you turn off with R2D2. Or not. Yes, okay, yes. Right. Go, lay up. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, is probably switch to Chewie, because he's just, in general, better. 
Ah, uh, then Lando. I don't really like Lando's gun. Lando and Leia, they have types of guns that just... They're hard to mass shoot. You can't really go crazy shooting with them. Which is just... It, it makes it a lot harder. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is probably just using Chewie for the most part. Yeah, I know. Okay. Go through here. And, uh, that's why I like Han Solo so much, is because he has actually a really good gun. And these people, you just, you actually just want to kill them, because... <coughs> yeah, we do that one. Alright, that one on this one. I don't know. What in the poop? Oh, there he is. I was like, what? Okay. So what you have to do is really, really, actually pretty easy. Uh, just push this. Yay, more push block puzzles. Don't you just love those by now? And shoot that. Yes, all we're doing here is uh, trying to get our droid back. Well, Han Solo actually hates the movie. It's really important to get away. Alright, we do this, and there's C3PO. Shoot this thing in the head. And then... There he is. Now we have C-3PO. So, uh, interesting bit of trivia if I would not have shot that, um, thing. Like, that pile of garbage. We would have seen a droid head, actually, from, like, one, episodes one, two, three. That kind of droid. Yeah, whoa. That was... Yeah, which I always thought was really, really cool that they put, like, a little special in there like that. I thought that was nice. I thought that was really tough. Just things like that when they make the game. Yeah. I'm say that and just get hit all around. So, why am I being out there right now? No, I should be able to switch back to Chewbacca. Alright. We need this on. And looks authentic, right? Totally. Uh, so. Now let's just keep going through here, and we're probably going to lose this in like a minute. Because, ah, dang it, we're off. There it is, too. That's where we need it. Dang it. This is a bounty hunter one, so if we had a bounty hunter in our group, like when we do a free play, uh, we'll be able to do more stuff. Probably, I assume, right there for canister. But, you know, uh, we don't have that right now, obviously, so yeah, I can't really use it yet. It's just a door that will lead you to a secret room and secrets and secrets and secrets. But do you get what I mean though now about uh, how even though this is the last level and you know it's supposed to tie everything up really nice, it just doesn't compare to chapter 5. Chapter 5 just did not go with chapter 6. I believe out here we're actually going to see another huge image. No, so, um, I think. Think yep, there is one. Or no, not me, but uh, some kind of nature. Who I just murdered. <laughs> so, um, yes. <coughs> it's really sad that I know the placement of those guys, like, right on top of my head. But just, you know, memory. Memory, memory. So, if we go up here, um, you'll notice that. What is that? I think we need, like, droid this. Yep. Yeah, you'll notice that R2 and 3 C-3PO cannot get across. What you gotta do is simply hop in this crane. Pick one of them up with magnetism. And drop him. Now go back with your magnetism crane and pick the other up with magnetism. And drop him. Okay, that's all you got to do. Um, alright. <laughs> so now we have to apparently mix it on again so we can get C3PO. And, because I'm pretty sure it's C3PO we're actually gonna need. Come on, come on. Get to get to Did you? And we care. So, uh, keep following going over here, and you'll notice droids could not get past this either. And see who gets stuck there. Yeah, that's what you gotta do for him. 
Because C-3PO is C-3PO. So as you notice, droids cannot get around this. Well, C-3PO can't, rather. Uh, because he's C-3PO. He can't do much. With R2, it's really, really easy to get him around it because all you gotta do is just go to the outside and then fly around. And then if you fly over here with R2, you'll notice you like this. That'll make this bridge appear, helping the others, but not helping C-3PO, who's still stuck over there. So we still have to get him somehow. I actually don't remember how to... Whoa, glitch! I don't remember how to do it off the top of my head, so this could take a while. Because I will admit, like, anytime like, I don't remember the puzzles that much in this game, it does take me a while to figure them out, because, you know, they're just... Some of them are so flippin' hidden. Uh, oh yeah, duh. Pew. That's how you see the oh, gosh. Okay, that was not a puzzle. That was actually really, really easy. <coughs> so, yeah, just uh, keep on going over here, and then we're gonna have to shoot this thing. Oh, well, no, that's just for a cancer, actually. We have my thing. But we still need to make room for C-3PO. Because C-3PO is C-3PO, and special. No, he just he can't really do much on his own. <laughs> I'm giving him so much poop. Okay. So just get that across and go with C3PO. Get out of the way. That's what I mean about bigger groups. They don't they are no good. Escape. I don't I don't know. So now we just need to kill kill. kill. This is actually the third, um, that thing that we could have built is actually the third of its kind. And if we would have built it, if we would have built all three, we would have got a mini kit. So that's one of the mini kits out of ten that you have to get this level that I actually know. I just, I want to bring those up anytime I know them. Just in case you're, like, somebody who wants to get them now. I know that could be a mini kit. And then R2. It's probably C3 piano right now. Oh, okay. So it's gonna turn off the smoke, and then don't want to this play out. I want Chewbacca. So keep going through here. We're actually almost at the stage, by the way. This is one of the shorter ones of episode five. It don't take pooping forever. So just go ahead and get two people on this. That's gonna make that happen, and then that's gonna make that one occur, and that. Occur. And then go ahead and get two people on this one. That's gonna make that one able to push or pull or whatever. And then just get two people to pull it. And then you're done with stage. No, wait, no, actually not. And then that's gonna make. Whoa! You see that? Dude, I'm floating! Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my god! That's so cool! Okay, fun with glitches. So now we actually have to go all the way back, pooping around, uh, to like way, way out of our way. I know, it's maybe it's just right here. Yeah, it is. What the heck am I saying? So we need R2? Yeah, we just have to go to the Millennium Falcon now, and then we're actually done with the stage. So it's it's the shorter one. It's the shortest one we've had in a while. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty cool. They don't make them all just... Crazy way. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so this is what I mean also about True Jedi. Like, if you try going for True Jedi in every single stage, you're gonna regret it because, uh, it's dang near impossible. Because with the emo especially in this, like the original trilogy, 4, 5, and 6, if you try going for True Jedi every stage, you're gonna lose. Because the thing is, it's so hard to do it. Stop spawning, good lord. Okay, it's so annoying. The king is here for you know, the viewers. <clears throat> and oh my god, would you stop spawning? Jeez. Okay, once you are finished with those enemies that spawn like crazy. Go ahead and go up here and you're done with the stage. Really great. Really. <laughs> 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 
they're like, um, okay, let's back off from there. Oh, poop. Okay, they're gonna keep shooting. Okay, and that does it. But now, Leia sends to the tug. So, go back over here. And hey, it's Luke. Still hanging there for chapter 5. So, Luke's all messed up now, and apparently he's got a black eye and no hand. I never saw him get a black eye. Did you guys? No, I didn't. I just saw him lose a hand. I guess the black eye's just for effect. But I mean... <laughs> yeah, so. Super Stories Unlocked. Speaking of Super Stories, Nick and I are doing those together. Uh, but we're actually going to wait a little bit. And how I plan on doing that is, like, when we go back for mini kits, we're gonna do all the mini kits of, like, episode one, we're gonna do all the mini kits, and then Nick and I are gonna do the super story. So that's how I plan on doing that. Alright, 31, and finish four. Let's do this. Gotta say, episode five did not irk me near as much as episode four. And episode six is not gonna irk me that much either, because I actually like episode six. Majority of the levels are light. So, yeah. Warp 2 I don't know, though. Episode 6, I just, I don't really like, or episode 4, I don't like really anything. And then, uh, 5, I like 3, I don't know, 6. And then 6, I like about 5 out of 6, I would say. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Alright, Lando Caribbean and Chewbacca now have the Millennium Falcon, because Han Solo is frozen in carbonite. So they're gone, leaving Luke, Leia, R2, C-3PO, and this little heel ship. And Luke with his new hand, which isn't apparently working out for him. I didn't know Lego hands had mines of their own. I didn't even know Legos had mines of their own until the game came out. Wait, Legos actually don't? Okay. So yes. 31% complete! Nice. Okay, guys. Now that we are done with that, um, I kind of think we're gonna end things off here. Since, you know, we it's already been 17 minutes and we just completed everything in episode 5 that we can do for now. So, next time on Let's Play Lego Star Wars. The complete saga. Why am I hopping this game? We are gonna start episode six, Turn of the Jedi. All right, with chapter one, Jabba's palace. I'll see you guys then. Good bye or good night, everybody. Says Proton John. Ha. Huh.